Dear little V, girl, let's get real for a second. I've been thinking lately about how many of us are walking around unhealed. I know you know what that feels like. We are more willing to accept that we get physical bruises from time to time. But what about the mental and emotional ones that our hearts carry? The ones you don't wanna look at too closely because it's just too uncomfortable. And as human beings, one thing we hate is being uncomfortable. We run away from feelings of discomfort and pain. We say, I don't wanna go there. I just can't go there. I've done this many times. And let me tell you, I just kept running into myself. I lived in a place where I'd been living in denial for so long. And the thing is, these unhealed parts, they don't just disappear. They stick with you, showing up in ways you don't even realize until you are prepared to face them and ask yourself, what within me needs to change? Instead of passing blame, pointing fingers at everyone, never turning the mirror towards yourself. And these unhealed souls, they look like me, or you, or your friends, your coworkers, your family, and they'll say, I'm good, I don't need healing. That's for weak people. You need healing, I'm good. And honestly, I used to believe that about myself too. But now when I hear someone say that, I think, are you though? Are you really good? Because if you're so good, why are you repeating the same unhealthy patterns? Why are you so angry all the time? Why are you always caught up in some kind of drama, gossiping about people, complaining about your relationships? Why are you making the same mistakes over and over? Why don't you feel fulfilled? For me, I was walking around unhealed for so long and I didn't even know it. Or deep down, maybe I did, but I was too scared to face myself. The truth is, I had been walking around my whole life carrying some deep emotional baggage, wounds that went all the way back to when I was just a little girl but I couldn't admit that I had baggage. Who, me? No, baggage is for other people, I would tell myself. But I never felt worthy, never felt truly lovable, always feeling anxious, empty, and anxious again. Always chasing after more, trying to fill this big old void I couldn't even explain. And honestly, I used to see myself as a victim. But the reality was, the only thing I was really a victim to was the cage I had built around myself. I felt depressed and never felt like my life had much meaning, despite what it looked like on the outside or what people would say to me. I found a lot of my value in being there for others, being that sounding board for my friends when I couldn't even take my own advice. So what happened was, I eventually rebelled against the person who for so long had pretended to have it all together. And I wanted to blow it all to smithereens. I know what you're thinking right now. This all sounds real dark, doesn't it? Especially coming from a girl who smiled a lot. But didn't you know? Sometimes the ones who smile the most are the ones carrying the most pain inside. So I'm telling you, my girl, that you don't have to smile to mask the pain, but what you need to do is to be able to acknowledge it's there so that you can eventually free yourself from it. You are not a victim of your pain. Do I feel those things or go to those dark places these days? Thankfully, no. Rarely, in fact. But let me tell you, it took me hitting my own rock bottom to finally change the course of my life to finally become the captain of my own ship. It took facing the parts of me I'd been avoiding. Ah, avoiding. We tend to do a lot of that, don't we? I chose to do the hard work so that I might finally step into the shoes I was meant to walk in. We all deserve that. And from where I'm sitting, honey, I could not feel more strong, more grateful, or more connected to myself today. Anywho, the full details about my rock bottom, that letter is coming one day. And when that time comes, we are gonna go there together. But for now, just know that hitting that point was a wake up call for me, making me realize that I couldn't keep ignoring the whispers telling me that something wasn't right inside. You see, healing isn't easy. 
It's the opposite. It's hard, and that's why so many people run from it. But let me tell you, it is so worth it. But a lot of people would rather live with that low hum of dissatisfaction, the kind that's bearable enough to get by, tolerable, than face the work it takes to heal. And then they numb themselves with drinks, drugs, food. They drown themselves in people. I've been there. But let me tell you, that humming, it doesn't go away until you do something about it. And like I said, most of us like to be comfy, but the cost of that is perhaps never truly growing, never reaching our potential, and perhaps doing way more harm than good. Healing is messy and uncomfortable, and sometimes it feels like you're opening up a wound that you've worked so hard to cover up. Keywords, cover up. But what I've learned is this, what you don't heal will haunt you. It'll show up in your relationships, in the way you talk to yourself, the way you talk to others, people you love. It'll show up in the choices you make, the mistakes you make, and you might not even realize it, but those unhealed parts, they are steering the ship, baby. True healing isn't about denying the pain or pretending it doesn't exist. You are not weak for feeling the pain from those wounds you carry. Wounds that were never your fault, especially from childhood. But it's choosing to stay in that pain as an adult and refusing to take accountability of your life that is holding you back. So if you're feeling stuck, unhappy, dissatisfied, or like you're not worthy of better, it's time to take a good look at yourself and face what needs to be faced. That is strength. That is freedom. And let me tell you about freedom, honey because I thought I was free for so long. I was living my life, doing what I wanted, going where I wanted, but deep down I was caged, caged by my own unhealed baggage, my own fears, my own need for validation. Healing is a choice. It doesn't just magically happen. It takes action, it takes bravery. It starts with getting real with yourself, getting real with the people who love you, the ones who really love you and have your back and seeking the best kind of help, whatever that looks like for you. And most importantly, it's making a promise to yourself that you're done letting yourself down. It's deciding that you're tired of running, tired of carrying this pain around, tired of living a life that feels half full. So if you're sitting there thinking, I don't need healing, I'm fine. Ask yourself, am I really free? Am I truly fulfilled? And if the answer is no, it's okay. The tragedy isn't admitting you need healing. The real tragedy is staying stuck in a place that will never serve you, never let you grow. You are not broken, my girl. You're human. And being human means you've got a mind that is just as vulnerable as your body. Think about it. When you break a bone, you don't just sit there. You don't ignore it. You heal it. Your emotional wounds deserve that same love and attention. It's time, baby. It's time to let go of what's been haunting you and step into the life you were meant to live. It is your time to shine. And I'll be right here cheering you on every step of the way. Until the next letter, with all my love, V.